what are the obstacles that are taking us away? There is something working behind. I want to be happy. We all want to be happy and a family. But what is becoming the obstacle? Oh, I'm sure you have listened about these guys, these naughty guys. <laughs> so we will explore who are the obstacles. And of course, not just know what the obstacles are, what tools we have to go beyond them. If we just know who is my obstacle, ah, very boring, eh? what to do? I know who is my enemy, but I don't know how to defeat him. Very, can be depressive. So here we have a big contrast between what we normally see around, what is publicized generally. We don't see, did you see a lot of, a lot of advertisements on the TV or internet about altruism? Do we see that? Not much, ne? About gratitude, about developing love. We don't see so much. So here we have the two, what the world tells us normally and what science and the teachers tell us. And also when we contemplate, there are a few contrasts. Just to start looking. One of the things I started looking, once I have the images, I start looking. Okay, what, what do we have here? Wow, look at this. These ones, they all are external. We need something coming from the outside. Food comes from the outside. We need to move to another country or to the beach, whatever. We need another person or our football team. Everything needs something that is external. Now, on the other hand, you can, some of this, for example, service, yes, you might need something, but for example, gratitude, joy, loving kindness, best wishes for a family, they happen internally. Wow, we start seeing a pattern here. All these pleasures are external, all these are internal. Another pattern was, wow, for food you have to pay, you have to pay Sometimes you have to pay to go out or like uh, a chocolate box or, or maybe a perfume, pss, 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 something <laughs> like this. Né? Sometimes you have to pay. And of course, for football, you have to pay. And then when you look at this, oh man, this is good business. Né? All of these are free. Don't, don't you see the wonder for free? <laughs> Happiness free. Loving kindness is free or it costs? Free. Lo loving kindness, free or it cost? Free. Gratitude, free or cost? Free. Service to others, free or cost? Free. Laughter, free. And friendship, free. Oh, can we start seeing the, the, the thing here? Can we get, are we getting? <laughs> Very interesting, isn't it? Another one that I found. You remember the example of the ice cream? How long does the ice cream last? I ask you, how long does the sushi last? How long does the football match last? Eh, 90 minutes. How, oh, I don't say about this one. <laughs> I was saying, how long does the romance that? We better don't open that box. <laughs> because you know, it has many, many nuances, let's say like that. Okay, and it's not very proper for monks to be talking about that anyway. Anyway, but also vacation, how long does it last? Eh, one week, two weeks? How many? How, how many weeks can you take uh, leave in, in here in Malaysia? One or two weeks? Or three weeks? How long? Two weeks. Okay. Nah. I will give you safety belts. Nah. Safety belts. Strong. Nah. <laughs> One time when I was a lay person, you came to listen to a monk. Eh? So you take your, at your own risk. At your own risk. When I was, but I was a lay person. I thought. I also had two weeks of vacation. A year. How many weeks does the year has? 52. And then I thought, oh, 50 weeks of work, two weeks of freedom. I mean, like this. Oh, my dear family, I started thinking, oh, there is something strange here. 50 versus two, do you think is that fair? I mean, you ask a monk, I made that question to myself, and now you know why I made one of the reasons why I'm in ropes. <laughs> yes, it's not fair. And then I tell you what I was doing. Uh, if, if something sounds similar, don't worry, it's just similarity. Né? But what was I doing as I was a lay person? Working 50 weeks, working and going to the office and all this, whatever I needed to do to save the money, to be two weeks free. So fast they passed. And again, another 50. I really thought, really? Did I just born for this? 
And then when I was planning the vacation, what was I planning? Was I planning to be altruistic, laugh a lot, loving kindness and generosity? Of course, no la. I was thinking, what am I going to eat? Where am I going to go? Who am I going to invite? And which uh, amusement I will uh, go? Does it sound similar? The question is, my dear family, now we can see the contrast. Which one are we pursuing? Which one are you working for? Ooh. Think for a little while. We are in family, no problem. We are contemplating. Mm. We already saw this is short-lived and this can be deeply cultivated and stay with us for long. Now my question, I get one question. Which one are you pursuing? Maybe we know. Because we sometimes don't contemplate this one. Which one? Do you want to continue doing the same? I'm just putting things on the table. The decision is yours. And from the bottom of my heart, I really wish that all of us choose wisely. Long lasting, free, inner. Mm. Yes, we can do this, but let's not just be our aim. Check which one you are doing, which one you are pursuing. When I was a lay person, I trust me, I was following <laughs> this one. <laughs> anyway, should we continue? Mm, let's continue a little bit. So one other thing that happens is that ple pleasure, pleasure happens with both. Né? Here we come to a tricky part. With both kinds of happiness, the, the short-lived one, the, the, the one you need to pay, and the one that comes from within, both of these happiness says if I may say happiness this, with these two with this kind of happiness pleasure arises isn't it it's pleasurable that's why we pursue it even animals follow pleasure but then it comes something okay if happy if to be happy I need to develop the Brahma Viharas be grateful serve others uh, find ways to love uh, and then be with others now humans we are very smart isn't it very clever we are humans and we start thinking hey yeah pleasurable and happiness but this is home oh, fun I have to go here like this and need to go here very troublesome doing this and that why don't we just go anyway pleasure is there why don't we just go direct to pleasure isn't it very smart we are humans very smart so let's look beautiful things listen s pleasurable sounds smells very nice perfume and odors have very good taste in the mouth and can you see massage or, or pleasurable experiences Weh. Why to bother, ne? Why to bother serving others? Why to bother practicing generosity? And why to bother gratitude and all that? No, no, no. Brahma Viharas, no, no, no. Let's go directly to pleasure. But as we already explored, unfortunately, all of these are short-lived. And what happened? We try once, it finished very quickly, and we want again. And again. And again. And again. And again, who has gone here to a very nice restaurant? Raise, raise your hand. Who has gone here to that? Do you will say, oh, I went to a very good restaurant. Raise your hand. Oh, there are no good restaurants in, 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 in Malaysia. <laughs> I'm sure we all went to a good restaurant. When you came out of the restaurant, did you say this? I, you came out of the restaurant and said, wow, this restaurant was so nice. I don't think I need to go to any restaurant in my life. It was so good. I don't need to go. Anybody said that? No, you go to one vacation and the vacation was very nice. But then when you returned, you said, wow, this vacation is so, so wonderful. I think I'm satisfied. I don't think I will take vacation ever in my life. Did anybody say that? Why not? For the same reason. It's one and again and again and again. And we are hooked. And addiction actually happens because of this just because of this, because we are pursuing cheap quality, short-lived pleasure, not even happiness, and we will see it. So here we come to the bad part, and here is when slavery, inner slavery develops, and now we are in trouble, because we depend on external things. So this is the bad news, let's start moving towards the good news. So my dear family, one thing that we need to put very, very clear, please, Get this one deeply and share it to your kids. Pleasure and happiness 
are not synonym. Pleasure and happiness are not synonym. Happiness is pleasurable, but pleasure does not bring happiness. We know that it is happiness that is short-lived, and as I was saying, pleasure and happiness are not the same. Yes, this one, and we can see it. When you check at the statistics of suicide rates in the world, it's very shocking to see that the most, when you look at the economy of people who suicide, surprisingly, it is not the poor people or the lower, lower economic class that is or, uh, suiciding. It is the medium, medium high, and especially the high class, generally, who are experience or deciding suicide. Then when you look at the statistics, last time I saw, maybe now they change, the top countries who were uh, on top of suicide rate was uh, South Korea, United States, and Japan. And as you can see and well known, all of these countries doesn't lack access to pleasure, is it? They can have vacations when they wish, they have a home, they, have, they can go to a restaurant. Then the question comes, why? I'm just strengthening the point. Yes, happiness and pleasurable are not synonyms. Now my question is, what are we looking for? What are you looking for? Let's pause for a little while. Check out the activities we are doing when we plan our, uh, when we plan our uh, holidays. What are we looking for in our daily life? Let's pause a little bit. This is very important. What are we doing? Now we know what changes can we do to improve the situation. So we are not hooked and we are free and we are truly happy. Yes, okay, my, I know this one is a, is a question to keep for long, so I will invite you to continue pondering about it. And then the next step will be, what kind of changes could I do in my work, in my house, with my family, to start adapting and really moving towards happiness? Pleasure will be finished, and it is slavery. The Buddha knew very well, that's why he's teaching Hmm. Okay. Everybody okay? Good. You think for yourself. Now we are in family. Cup hey. Fu hey. Ah. Again, cup hey. Fu hey. Ah. We are at peace with life. We just want to understand. Now we know. Take your own at your own pace. Make your own decisions. And I truly wish that you, together with your family, find a way to live in the world, no need to, to go away of the world. The world is not the problem. Our addiction to pleasure is the problem. We just take it away and find sources of happiness. We already saw many examples and uh, we know what to do. Which ones we, did we have? Uh, remind me, which ones we have? Do you remember the possibilities for happiness, happiness? Which ones? The Brahma Viharas. Which one other? Gratitude. Gratitude. Other? Service. Service. Friendship. Friendship. Laughter. Laughter. Yeah, we have already very good. Can you remind me again? Brahma Viharas. Service. Gratitude. Laughter. And friendship. Yes. Look how many friends we have around. Look around. Ah, I see you all. She <laughs> she 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 very good. Mm, we have friends, family. We need to remember every day. Remember, remember. Gratitude in the morning, gratitude in the middle of the day, gratitude in the night. I have friends, family. I'm alive. I have home. Then the mind is not searching, searching. Okay. So this is the first part of the talk. Okay. This week, explore what is happiness, how many kinds of happiness are there, what possibilities we have, and we already contemplated. What am I doing? Oop. Okay, let me see how, what arrangements I can do so I'm moving towards happiness, conscious happiness.